If you're a sysadmin, infrastructure pro, DevOps engineer, SRE, anybody in between, you may have heard of a little something called testing or testing your code. But do we actually need to do that with infrastructure as code? 100%, absolutely. And what's really cool about it is it's pretty much the same way as like anybody else does their testing, like application developers, for example, or any other type of programmer that's running any type of test. We can actually test our infrastructure as code to ensure it works properly, to ensure there's no bugs, and to ensure that it runs the way that we're expecting it to. We're going to use a little something called Terra Test by Gruntworks. So with that, let's go ahead and jump right into the demo and see how you, as a sysadmin, infrastructure pro, anybody in between, can test your code. Let's go ahead and talk about our scenario here. So I have a main.tf here for a Terraform configuration to create a resource group in Azure. It's going to be very straightforward. I'm going to be requiring the Azure RM provider. I'm going to be specifying the Azure RM provider right here on line nine. And then on lines 14 through 17, I'm specifying the resource for the Azure resource group. In my variables here, I just have a name variable and a location. In my Terraform.tf bars to pass in my arguments at runtime, I have the name of the resource group and the location. So with that, let's go ahead and start building out our Terraform test with TerraTest. First, I'm just gonna create a directory called test. Okay, I'm gonna have to open up my terminal here and I'm gonna CD into test, okay? The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run go mod init test. Okay, so what that's gonna do is that's going to specify my go mod for me where I'm saying that my module is test and I'm running on go version 1.15. Okay. Next, I'm going to create a new file here and I'm going to call it main test.go. Now from here, I specify my package, package main, right? I'm going to do my imports here and my imports are going to be for log testing and the Terraform module for TerraTests. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna paste that in right here. Oop. All right, so now I have my log, my testing, and then my module for Terraform. Next one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna specify a function. So I'm gonna say func, and I'm gonna start this with test. So all testing functions in Go must start with test. I'm gonna say Terraform resource group. Right, I'm going to pass in my argument here, so I'm going to call it T, and then I'm going to create a value pointer that's going to go to testing.t. So I'm going to be calling upon this testing package right here. Okay, I'm going to create my brackets. Now I'm going to create a new variable that's going to point to my Terraform directory. So I'm going to say options equals and then I'm gonna do a network address pointer here to terraform.options. I'm gonna open up the brackets here and then I'm gonna pass in my arguments. So I'm gonna say terraform dir, and then that directory is gonna be, so I need to go up one level into my resource group directory right here. So I'm gonna say dot dot forward slash resource group, okay? So then I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna set up a defer and this defer is gonna be so I can actually destroy my environment after I create it. Because realistically what TerraTest is doing is it's saying, okay, I'm gonna initialize plan create, but it'll actually create the value. So it's more like a mock test. I know typically with TerraTest, they'll say that it's like a unit test, but it's definitely more of a mock test than anything else in my opinion. So I'm gonna say defer terraform dot destroy and then I'm going to pass in my T argument and then my options. So again, I'm passing in this options variable here because it's pointing to my options variable, which is pointing to my terraform directory. Okay. So now what I can do is I can start setting up my init, my plan and my apply. And you're going to notice here, they're going to be quite similar. So I'm gonna say init for the first value of the variable, and then I'm gonna say er for the second value. 
I'm going to say terraform dot and then as you can see all these different functions pop up I'm going to use the init e function which is going to not only initialize our terraform configuration but it's also going to give us the ability to pass in some error handling hence why I have this second variable value right here for er okay so I'm going to say t options Okay, and then I'm gonna set up my error handling if er not equals nil. And at this point, I'm gonna use the log package. I'm gonna say print ln, or so it's gonna print it to the terminal. Okay, so this is the init. And what I'm gonna do is right after this error, I'm gonna say t log init. Okay. So now at this point, oops, I actually missed a comma right here. Okay, so now at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to literally do the same thing, but for plan and apply. So actually what I can do here is I can literally just copy this. I'm going to space two, and then I'm going to paste it in here. Okay, so I'm going to change this to plan. I'm going to change init E to plan E. Okay, and then from T log, I'm gonna say plan. Okay, so now I can literally do the same thing for apply. Paste this in, change the init to apply, change init E to apply E, go down to T log and change this to apply. Oop, and then actually one other thing that I forgot here on line 12, just gotta put a colon here, all right? And now we'll be good to go. So that is essentially it, and now we can run our test. So I'm gonna clear my screen here, the ls, all right? So we see our main underscore test at go. I'm gonna say go test minus v, which means that it's gonna run all of the tests in the current directory with a verbose flag. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run that. It's gonna move up the terminal here, and as you can see, our test is running through. So first thing is, it's gonna initialize. Now, it's running the plan. And as we can see, the plan here is to add one, change zero, destroy zero. So now what it's gonna to start to do is, it's gonna to start to run the apply for us. And the one thing too, take a look right here, it has the auto approve for us. So that's why it's actually able to run without us typing in yes on the terminal to apply our configurations. Okay, and as we can see, the resource has been added right here. And then now what's happening is the destroy is running again with auto approve that way our resources actually get deleted and we just don't have like random resources hanging out in our portal. And as we can see here, our test has completed and it took about 105.415 seconds. And that's how we can test our infrastructure as code, just like we would test any other code using go and Terra test. Thank you so much for watching.